put the water in first, it doesn't stick to the bottom. Right guys, so it's Tuesday, it's week two of this diet. I ju I've just literally had my breakfast there. Um, I'm just making my, my two meals before I go to work. So I'm literally just having the, the heck chicken sausages and making some chicken, I've got a salad. Um, I've actually got rice, and if anybody knows me, the fact that I'm having chicken and rice, it's one of these things that I almost don't have because I hate the stereotype of when you eat healthy, you need to eat chicken and rice and things like that. But not as I said, I'm going to head up and I'm going to go and train. And um, then again, I'm, I'm back shift, I've got my boxing classes tonight, so it's one of these ones you don't really know like what to film because you kind of lead a bone life when you watch a lot of other people's vlogs. Like you'll see these guys and in Miami and all these kind of things and you you're essentially in Kirluk and you you're not flashy by any means and I it just is what it is the one to it really just is what it is I don't live my life in comparison I used to really have a strange mindset like that like almost like the whole imposter syndrome and all that kind of thing but but no as I said I'm just waiting on these the food cooking and then I'll get cracking on Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I'm just back for doing my class, and again, this is a back shift week. So when I go up, I do my circuits. I've got my circuit training class around about half nine to about half ten, and then I've got a PT session. I start my back shift about half twelve, so I've literally got an hour to come back. And I've, as you just saw there, I've just made some some chicken sausage wraps, and then I use the the heck chicken sausages, which again, much much leaner than obviously what pork would be. So. I was was just getting my bag ready for work and stuff like that when I when I when I picked this up. And it's the thing, what, what do you say? What do you say about this kind of stuff? What do you say? Like for me, this kind of thing is always the thing that's really wrong within the the, the fitness industry. And it's like a, like a fat freezing waste belt. And I went onto their Facebook and it's full of really like delusional people that believe that this kind of stuff works. And that's the thing, like with people looking for quick fixes and stuff. And it's like, why would you listen to me? As I said before, you've got all these guys on YouTube and all those kind of things who are shreddy. They're absolutely, a lot of them just look fantastic. A lot of them enhance, some of them not, do you know what I mean? Ultimately, everybody's going to be trying to sell you something and try to sell you a quick fix. And I think the main thing I would like for anybody to really take away for anything that I would ever ever say is that there, there is no quick fix. There is no quick fix whatsoever. Everything that you're going to do in a sense of trying to achieve a goal, or in a, in a sense of your body composition and losing fat, gaining muscle and all those kind of things, if done so honestly and without the use of anything that might speed that up, shall we say, is always going to require time, effort, consistency, and a bit of restraint. A lot of people just kind of want to do things unrestricted, like they're not quite willing to put the chocolate bars down or quite willing to stop their, their binge drinking and stuff like that in order to achieve a goal. And I mean, you wouldn't have to stop it completely, but in the grand scale of things, you're going to have to. You can't always have the good with the bad, and that's the one thing they always want to tell folk, you can't have the good with the bad. You can have it in smaller moderations, um, but just not all the time. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to eat this, and then I really need to shoot back. I'll get my lunch ready, shoot back up to work. I don't know what I'm going to film for the rest of the week, but we shall see. So that's basically how I cook my chicken, and nothing, nothing fancy. I don't like, I don't like frying it. I don't like doing anything like that because I think it makes it really dry. But if you just get a sheet of the tin foil, put your favourite spice on it, wrap it up, chuck it in the oven between 180 and 200 for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size, and you'll get a nice juicy, moist chicken. And that's why I like making my food on on the day as well because when I go eat it, isn't it dry? Like I don't like bulk cooking. I don't like getting stuff and chucking it in the fridge or the freezer and then taking it out because when I go eat it, it makes me, it would be the most horrendous kind of dieting in the world. 
And speaking about the whole dieting thing, obviously my video the last time was kind of, it was an ill-prepared week of eating. And I kind of wish I'd done it this week because like everything I've been having is with more vegetables and fruits and all the kind of rest of it. But that's the whole principle of dieting is, um, well for me is like, do what you can stick to it. If, if it works for you based on your goal, which my goal right now is obviously going to be shifting some body fat for a holiday then being in a deficit and the, the way that I can remain in that is the ultimate goal for the diet. Um, so, someone went and asked me, like, just out of the blue actually, what, what kind of got you into personal training, what got you into doing that kind of thing? And to be honest with you, it was one of these things where I, I think when I got really overweight when I was about 19, just your usual when you first get in a relationship and all that kind of thing, you start eating a, a lot more, your activity goes down, all those kind of things. I think I kind of got into it because I'd been in so many jobs that I didn't like doing and I thought to myself, I was in starting to train in the gym, I quite liked how it felt, I still had no clue what I was really doing and I thought to myself like, why don't you go and get paid to do this? That, that was my, my main thing. I'll go to college and I'll go and start studying this kind of stuff and actually learn how to do this properly and actually helping other people never really came into my mind right away if I'm being really really honest. So where all that kind of all that kind of changed was um, I remember when I first started working in a gym that I work in right now. I've been in there almost nine and a half years, and I remember like you had the uh, Alivers prom coming up, and it was my first real client. I'd really 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 helped. I've been saying a client, but it wasn't. I just. I just decided to try and try and help this person. And I remember like every week they were coming in, we were trying to give some basic advice on nutrition, like some stuff what to cut out and like giving an exercise program and helping them towards it. It was that kind of way where like I was really, really enjoying it. But the main thing for me was this person had done it and they had achieved their goal. They'd lost, I think it was about two and a half stone or something like that, and they were looking fantastic. And I remember this person came in with their mum and they had a, they had like a a card and a, it was like a wee box of chocolates and stuff like that and it was like as a thank you it was like oh right thanks so much for helping me I really appreciate it I couldn't have done this without you and I remember that overwhelming feeling of like how that felt I, re I really remember how the feeling of how that felt when someone was so appreciative of the fact that you had helped them and you had helped them achieve the goal and I think that's that's when it became a wee bit of an addiction that's when it came like I really liked how that made me feel the fact that you'd help someone else you'd help someone else achieve the goal and obviously this person never paid me I was just working in the gym and stuff like that and, and then that's when it kind of started and I started really trying to put myself on everybody everybody that I could and everybody that would listen so, when I kind of started doing it, like I started doing it in the gym and I always implored every other person that ever wants to get into personal training and stuff to do the same thing. I would always say to them, uh, like really, really do as much as you can for nothing. Like, people, people need to value you. You get a lot of PTs that will just come off the, the back burner now. Like, every, everybody and their dog's a PT. But they, they go and they'll basically demand their £300 for a session and stuff like that. I mean, based on what? They've never actually helped anyone. Right, and I'm not saying that these people are not good PTs. It's not what I'm saying. Before someone starts battering into a keyboard, like "fuck you, piece of shit." What I'm basically saying is, is like, I, 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 based on my experience, I would never really feel like I was ready to go and really charge anybody for personal training until I was about six years in the industry. If I'm being really honest with you, so what I would really suggest for everyone is like everybody who's going to be a PT is do do a lot for nothing. Like from how I felt. When that girl had said that, I just started going about and trying to help everybody. And to be honest with you, the last thing on my mind was money. And I understand I was in a position where I was in a gym and I was already making money. And a lot of people might rely on their personal training as an income. But I think even although you might be still charging some other people, get some other people who you really, really don't charge. And I still do this with some folk. I still feel like like if I've got that massive desire and I see someone really pushing myself, I don't mind helping them for nothing. And it, it has became a real a real passion of mine. I mean, everybody kind of might be confusing this channel for being like sometimes maybe a boxing channel and things like that. And it's, it's not a boxing channel, it's just, it's just me. It's just me documenting my life and my journey for whatever phase of life I'm at right now, if I'm being really honest with you. But in a personal training sense, I think everyone, everyone should like be trying to do it. If you've got your intentions to make pure money, people are going to sniff that, people are going to smell that. If you get into this industry for that reason, people are going to know, they'll, they'll just know. If you if you come from a good place and you you have a lot of empathy towards a client and I think that's the biggest tool you can have when you're dealing with anyone is a wee bit of empathy and that's why I try and deal with some folk where maybe I don't charge another folk where maybe I do uh, and it might be based on certain different things or certain criteria but no I just kind of thought I would share that way and um, I've probably been jumping the gun until I go and edit this I probably missed what I was saying going on these wee rants but um. It's Thursday today, um, I've just done my class, I'm back home, I'm getting this food ready and then I'm going back up to work, again a 2 o'clock to a half 10 finish 
and I've already trained the day, it was, a, it was more of a cardio day today. I'm training tomorrow with deadlifts and that again, so hopefully I'll get a wee bit more filming with that and see how my progression is going. Right guys, I'm just back through the gym. Um, I'd actually had a really good workout. Um, it was just kind of the same, instead of me like putting hundreds of training footage and that on over the top of this all the time of the same kind of workout, I'll put a wee bit. So again, I started with deadlifts. Um, I had more than a couple of warm-up sets because I'm still a bit terrified of doing them. Um, and then I done my, my big working set and I, I felt much, I'm feeling much better on these already, which tends to be the case. Why well, I done a wee bit of strength training, a wee bit of strength training in the past. You, you never quite go back to square one, which I've kind of noticed though. If you do go back to square one, your progression tends to be a wee bit better. From there again, I've done the military press, where I started with again a warm-up set of two or three, and then into a big working set. From there again, with the kettlebell swings. Uh, again, these are feeling really good. I'm feeling much fitter with these already. And the rest of the stuff I didn't really bother filming. You can just go back to last week's vlog. So I've came back, and I'm making a, a chicken salad which you can see here. As I said, like this week I have a, I wish I'd kind of filmed everything I'd kind of because you would probably notice like it was pure chalk and cheese for the, this week to last week. I've not had much uh, the kind of stuff. I've not had hardly, in fact, I don't think I've had any ice cream and hardly any of the pop chips or anything like that. It's all been good, nutritious food. Oh my God. But this weekend, I'm actually myself. Roof's away for the weekend, so Roof, you'll be watching us. Hope you have a nice weekend. And I don't day very much when Roof isn't here. Tomorrow, I've, I've got Tony for another PT. He's fighting next Friday. So I'm hoping that next week's vlog will be Tony's fight. I'm gonna try and dedicate that, that vlog to him. The guy's trained so hard for it. Um, he's in great shape for it. Um, I'm gonna be on his corner. So I'll get my trusted new cameraman, young Xander, uh, Z-Rock. <laughs> if anybody watches Gary V, you'll know why I'm saying that. To try and get him to film it, because it should be should be another really good fight night, because I know people really enjoyed that one. So again, the rest of the day, as I said, I'll have this chicken salad. I'll probably have some more discretionary calories as well. I'll actually have a Friday night to myself where I'll maybe stick a film on or just start editing this very video. Just chill out a wee bit. But again guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, I'm just back in, as you would have just seen, I'm just back in from a session with Tony. Um, Tony's going to be fighting obviously next Friday, and as I've already said, I'm, I'll make more of the vlog about that next week. So, as you could have just saw as well, this is going to be my lunch. Nah, it's not really. Um, I'm just going to be back in. Again, I'll make another another big salad of sorts. I'm just back for, for Tesco, because uh, when Ruth goes away, she hasn't left me anything, which is out of order. But no, again, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Just a wee mixture, a wee bit of everything, how the weeks went. And as I said, next week I'll have a wee bit more of another fight night and get the environment, maybe get a wee interview with Tony and all those kind of things. So again, if you're liking this, subscribe, leave a wee thumbs up, leave a wee comment. And I hope you are doing well, and I'll see you again next week.